To catch up and overtake America is a favorite saying of Nikita Khrushchev. In some ways, the USSR, of course, was overtaken by America. But in the construction of cars, luxury cars, the USSR more often only tried to catch up. So they tried to catch up, inspired by American cars. Think about it this way. You see a fashionable suit in a store window. You go to a different suit maker to order the same one. The result is similar, but not exactly the same as the original. The government of the USSR needed a new, modern car, therefore took ideas from America. Zeal successfully supplied cars for the top party leadership. And for ordinary officials, there were no cars. In addition, Zeal was already outdated by that time, and it no longer made sense to modernize it. Therefore, they had to create a car from scratch. The design of this car was developed by a talented artist, Lev Pirumev. He also developed the design of the best car at that time for the country's leadership, the Zeal 111 as well as the Gaz 21. Therefore, the quality of the design was doomed to success. But it is necessary to mention that the car was developed by a creative group, not only by Lev Viramev. It was a large team of the Gorsk automotive plant. It was not only engineers and designers, but also test drivers and many others. Nobody hid that the artistic inspiration came from American cars. For research purposes, several cars were purchased and they were transferred to the Scientific Research Automobile and Automotive Institute, NAMI. The car is based on an X-shaped frame, but lightweight. The body is semi-bearing. The body accepts the load through 16 attachment points. Therefore, the width of the car's sills is large. We will see the salon a little later. The appearance. Worthy of a whole scientific work about chrome. Chrome, 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 everywhere chrome. A little more chrome. Pay attention to the visors on the headlights, to the chrome grille and shiny bullets on the silver bumper, or silver bullets on the shiny bumper. Maybe they're not bullets, but they're very similar to bullets. But the bird seagull is definitely there. This bird was also used on other cars in the USSR. This car had two names, seagull, chaika, and arrow, strela. The size of the seagull was not small, 21 feet long, 6.5 feet wide, 5.3 feet high. The wheelbase is 10.5 feet. Nobody made such large cars in Europe, only America and the USSR. This element above the rear wing, which looks like a knee, was also on a regular civilian car, the Gaz 21. The rear of the car did not look modest by the standards of the USSR. Fins had already gone out of fashion in the United States, but were gaining popularity around the world. The exhaust pipes are like rocket nozzles, also made of chrome. A huge trunk with a spare wheel in the middle. This is because there is a 17-gallon gas tank behind the rear axle. The filler neck of the gas tank is behind the license. When creating the car, strict requirements were put forward for the builders, including those for the engine. Since inline engines were not very popular in America, at that time V-shaped monsters were popular in America. Therefore, at the Gorky plant, a new engine was developed, ZMZ-13, 335 cubic inches. Maximum power, 195 horsepower at 4400 RPMs. 
The maximum torque is 411 newton meters at 2500 rpms. The cylinder diameter, 3.93 inches. The piston stroke is 3.46 inches. The design was progressive for that time. The cylinder block, cylinder head, exhaust manifold, and pistons are made of aluminum, not cast iron. This is the development of the USSR in the mid-50s. In America, such motors appeared only in the 60s. And this is a vacuum brake booster, new technology in the cars of the USSR at that time. This was a prerequisite for its creation. Comfort was also imperative, but without sophistication. The colors are not flashy, soft, but all the materials are high quality, allure, felt. But there are no partitions like on a limousine in the back. There is a radio receiver with auto-tuning and an antenna with an electric drive. Inside, too, everything glitters with chrome. Turn on and off the headlights, wipers, light, suction, all inscriptions are in Russian. Starter, air supply, ventilation, heater. And now in Russia, all the inscriptions are in English. Huge clock on the dash panel and plenty of open space. The gold-plated lattice with a chrome-plated bezel has everything you need. The dashboard is very similar to its overseas non-comrades. For some reason, the window does not open. The seat is wide. Three people will fit back here. Ashtray, electric drive of the windows, an additional row of seats, and another ashtray with chrome, handrails. It was good to ride in such a car. The beauty. Driver, let's go. Well, the most interesting thing is the automatic hydromechanical transmission. Three-stage, controlled by buttons. You press the button D, drive, and go. More than 2.7 tons are accelerated slowly, imposingly. A seagull accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds. There is another button on the transmission control panel. Brake. Press the button at 25 miles per hour and the car starts to slow down. At 20 miles per hour it downshifts. This is for going downhill, for safety. Although the brakes on this car are very reliable with a hydro vacuum booster. Another interesting fact, this car has a gearbox from an ordinary civilian car, the Gaz 21, but it was reinforced because it was planned to put an automatic transmission on a regular car. But at that time, it was not possible to provide high-quality servicing of such gearboxes, so the idea was abandoned. But in the Special Purpose Garage, a structure dealing with the transportation of heads of government, everything was fine with the maintenance of the car. During the first year of production, 45 seagulls were delivered to this garage. But with the steering wheel was a miracle. There is an amplifier, but the lower the speed you go, the heavier the steering wheel. Therefore, you need to go quickly, but gradually. Over the years of production, from 1959 to 1981, only 3,179 copies were released. There were also several upgrades and improvements. The development and technology of this car from the basis of another, the Gaz 24 car. Front suspension with rubber metal hinges, steering with rear trapezoid, telescopic shock absorbers, and self-adjusting brake cylinders. They also installed the ZMZ-41 engine on the Gull. From the armored vehicle BRDM-2 and the reduced volume ZMZ-53 and 51.
Now, the seagull lives on in eternity, as long as there are museums and weddings. Well, one more page in the history of USSR cars is completed, to be continued.